Hello everyone, and here I am with another uh, LEGO Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars set, and this time it is on the Darth Vader transformation and uh, General Grievous chase or something from 2005. So for the booklets, it is for Darth Vader transformation, which has the old 2005 border with the lava and Darth Vader helmet there. Oh, of course, representing that of Mustafar, and also the transformations part of it, the main feature of it. On the back, as for the LEGO Star Wars video game, then uh, a little shop at home thing, and add for LEGO Club and an online survey, and then the first wave of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith sets from 2005. And then a kind of crazy looking alternate builds uh, in this set, and the main feature of it, and the last steps. And on to Drone Grievous Chase. It's the same thing, same app, same thing, but in the other way. Also, similar add to the other 2005 sets. And then couple of crazy alternate builds like one with a couple a stand with a pair of umbrellas and also spider mech or something there and also <laughs> how crazy that one is back wheels for the uh, I forgot and then how to roll it up there and then same thing and the last steps So for the General Grievous Chase one, first of which is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this of which, same version that's shown in some other 2005 sets. And sorry about the face print looking quite scratched, because I got this used off Bricklink like I do with a lot of stuff. And there's a great lightsaber, because this is about when they went over to great lightsabers. So and no back torso print or face prints, it's an, old, an older figure. And of course, that hair piece of which relevant on most other versions. And next to which is the old version of General Grievous. And of course, Kind of creepy looking with the lean standing up body and foul droid legs and everything. And also the four regular lightsabers as usual. And of course, although it does also have the Jedi cape to him, which of course isn't really necessary for him. And of course isn't having it in the scene. But, well, the headpiece I think can fit on a regular minifig torso. But luckily, with the later versions, they did change up the arms and everything, and also gave a different headpiece with prints to it. And although didn't include capes to it, because I kind of find them a little better without a cape. And then for Darth Vader transformation set is the pre-transformation Anakin Skywalker, but. The prints of which are quite the same with other versions of Anakin, the other 2005 sets. And no back torso print or face print since it's an older figure. And also, I, the face print I think is exclusive to this set. And as for Darth Vader, of which also kind of the same. But although this version of which does not include a cape like the other versions throughout the history of LEGO Star Wars did. But the torso print of which about the same as it's often been for a lot of years. And the helmet also the same, but the face print I think is exclusive, but actually not. It's been used in a few other sets over time until 2014. So first of which for the General Grievous Chase is the Bulga, which is the creature that Obi-Wan rides on. So, as first thing that catches your eye is 
that this the torso and legs of which are just the same as the with the like odd dinosaur sets from 2001 and also they often use for their older elephant molds so, of which interesting seeing it here probably the only way to get that in Star Wars and of course the instructions usually say put the feet outwards like this but I think it it's all much better facing forwards and for this head piece of which that was never redone or never used in any other sets. See, kind of creepy looking like with the printed eyes and everything. But like if this were made and released nowadays, I would expect there to be reused but with a print to it, but all prints all over it. And probably on a ball joint, like Mixel ball joints, like the Lego Beast and all that kind of did. But as for the middle section, which has a few pieces to it, which making a little bit longer than the old uh, 2001 dinosaur sets did. And also you have a little saddle area uh, to fit your Obi-Wan minifig onto it, like so. And the tail also the same there. Uh, I, I'm not sure if the tip of the tail is supposed to be gray. Or actually it is. Not sure if that's like accurate to the movie or anything. And I think it probably was. Yeah. But like, if Lego, please make this boga again. And make sure it's like multiple pieces like with mixel joints and everything. And also make sure the headpiece also gets redone with movable jaws and prints and all. Because it would be great. And on to with uh, John Grievous's wheel bike there, which we did get about one other version of, but in 2014. But however, that version of, of which did have a multiple piece frame or treading all over it. Well, this of which does have a single printed wheel piece, which does roll well. Well, on this one side, which does have, uh, which has a couple of rods and binocular pieces acting as guns. But as for the wheel, the legs of which are like all done with like bionicle arm pieces and minifigure jackhammers acting as that. But on the remake version, it was with the Ninjago blades or something, and it was just on regular Technic beams. But as for this uh, seat version, also relevant to that, but it has a single stud on it that you can attach your General Grievous figure to it and, and place them on like so. And also, uh, which I often do is put the back legs up like that and fold these on. Uh, although you could have them facing downwards like that if you want, but I it's much better done upwards. Yes, so and then okay. just spread it out, and then it just rolls right around. So it's quite suitable, quite relevant to this scene in the movie. And although the 2014 version also was about as swooshable as this but and of course that did have a handle that you can hold on to it this one doesn't and then all right well. and now on to uh, later transformation oh which is a kind of cool for a little set like, do you have this like medic droid which has all kinds of wrenches and drills and things. Uh, not sure why you would need that in the Star Wars universe. They can like rotate around. Although kind of hard to do on this version. Even though it's on a lightsaber rock. There. And although it does kind of also spin in and out for that. Oh, sorry. It was actually, I had it opposite then. Anyways, for the main feature, 
where you can like you have it like this, but turn it over and it starts the Vader. And let's rotate it up. And then and of and of course as how the scene goes is that that Emperor Palpatine who should be standing next to it, which you didn't get included in this set. And of course all actually in the scene it shows the helmet getting put onto Darth Vader and then rises up. And then in appearing James Earl Jones' voice for the first time in 22 years, well, in 2005, that is. And then destroys the environment around with the no. But as for a little comparison. If compared to this later 2017 version of Darth Vader transformation, where which does kind of the same stuff, but however it can ro also rotate. But however, this is which does have a mechanism for you to put Darth Vader's helmet on, and it perfectly works, other than with using your fingers to do that. But also does the rise up, so and then also and of course it also does have a explode features for when Darth Vader does the horrible no, which this other version also kind of does. But you know it's a 10-15 year difference. Lego probably wasn't much up to standards at the time. Even though it may have been kind of a horrible scene, but I, at least this newer version does work out a little better. Even though it's like many over twenty dollars more than this one at, in later standards, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict on these two. Overall, I think these are which are pretty good, cool sets for the year 2005. A couple of big important parts of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Like, of course, like you get a Balga, which was never before redone, and also well, two of which that have never before been remade until the later years. And but at least they did well improve with the remakes and everything. But you know, if Lego sees this video, please remake the Balga. It would be nice. Because like, if anyone missed out on this set, would be kind of missing out on that for making diorama borders and things. So if you like still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them and for those who haven't, well, good luck finding them, like eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's it with this video, and thanks for watching.